Imagine you have two lanes full of items and you want to separate them. Now this could be the same item or a mixed belt. Just to make sure, we do not want to put them all on one side like this. We actually want to rip the belt lanes apart much like a zipper. But how? Well, the first idea is to use a splitter with a filter, like this. The problem is, the splitter does not separate the lanes. It preserves them. It filters one item, regardless of which lane it came from. Of course, you can use a T-junction to resolve this, but only if you have maximum of two items. Look at this mixed belt to understand why a filtered splitter might not be the best and most flexible option. But how else can we do this? Ah, the mighty underground belt. Let's sideload our belt into the underground exit and see what happens. Nice. We have one side of the belt going through while the other side, well, stops. By the way, if you want the other side of the belt, you can simply use the underground entrance instead. Easy. Okay, this is good, but only if you just want one side of the belt and don't care for the other side, which is useful in some scenarios. But it doesn't fully satisfy what we want it to do. We do need both sides, but separately. Alright, so here's where we want that splitter back. Forget about the filter. What you want to do is put the splitter just before the underground node. This makes two belts of the same makeup. And now we can individually filter each lane by using two different underground belts, like this. And look what we have here. Two single lanes, but on two different belts. And they have the exact same makeup of the original lanes, even if they contain mixed items. 